A new season brings optimism, a belief that a banner will be raised. In the soccer capital of America, a new team, a new season, a new family. Under the heat of the Florida sun, thousands of miles from the heartland, it begins. The commitment to a common goal and each other. In just a few hours, a new docu-series giving Kansas City Current fans an inside look at preseason training. This is cool. KC Current, it's called Below the Surface. Yep. KC Current fans will get behind-the-scenes access to their preseason training through their new docu-series called Below the Surface. Take a look. This month, KC Current has taken you behind the scenes with all the access for an inside look at a club ready to make history in its second season. Behind this club and its players is another team focused on building the best women's soccer club in the world. Meet the team behind the team. You didn't come in, you didn't get stuck. Well done. Engage the defender, right? Make him make a choice. Protect the goal, protect the goal. Yeah, Edmonds. Just pay attention on that side. You're gonna do a rotation. Obviously that's gonna be different. Elise takes a touch forward. As she comes back, she plays me. Good, Kristen. Step, step. Yes, Alex. Close in. Yes, Alex. Up. She comes in. Make contact. Don't let her get that free, right? I am a mother of an 18-month-old little boy. Um, he's a sunshine, and they're actually in Madrid. So every morning at 7 a.m., I get to wake up and speak to him because that's when he's coming home from preschool. I'm still a mother first, and it's been some hard moments because I miss him. And to navigate or having a son, having a young family, to being a coach plus doing your way from A, so you're gone every two or three months. It was definitely a journey, but now I'm sitting here, so I know it was worth it. I played 10 years professional football. I've lived in eight different countries. My biggest goal or aspiration that I was able to achieve was I played in the Champions League final. I think my role coming in here is to obviously learn from Matt as an assistant coach. I think he has incredible years of experience, not only in the international game with his work with U.S. soccer, but also domestically. And I think my job is just to also be a connection between the players and him. At least by the 18, I need to see, okay, I'm dropping this way. You can do a drop step. You can't close your shoulder to not know what's coming behind you. Does that make sense? Just a half turn to open up to face. Step and drop step. Two or three steps, two or three steps. Going into preseason this year, we had a great core of players that we brought in again this year and made some additional acquisitions in the off season and leading into preseason. Feel really good about the group that we have here at IMG Training. A brand new staff as well. Uh, everyone coming together and really working to build a foundation moving into the 2022 season. Expectations for the club is ultimately to win, to bring championships to Kansas City. From leadership, it has been apparent that we want to create an environment where players and staff want to be and where they're set up for success. We're really excited to get back to Kansas City to play games for the amazing Kansas City fans and make the city and ownership very proud. Kansas City is one of the best soccer markets in the world and we needed to have a women's team. It's been one of the issues with women's professional sport in the last 25 years is that there hasn't been enough investment. I think that the investment that this ownership has put into this team is just far and beyond any other team that I've been on so far. For me, it's just the excitement that's built around the new stadium, the new training facilities, everything. I think that they're just continuing to raise the standard, so I think that it's just super exciting where this whole organization is going. We have 70 people on the staff at Kansas City Current. We are building a training center, which is almost completed. And then, as a lot of people know, we are building a stadium, which is gonna be the first stadium purpose-built for a women's team in the world. It's also exciting for Kansas City because it's our first downtown stadium, and we are literally changing the landscape of downtown. 
Kansas City got a facelift. This is what I feel like. Everything's different. How can you not want to play for that? How can you not want to be involved in an organization like that? And it's going to be so fun to see all of it translate to the field. You wouldn't be a professional or in the NWSL if you didn't want to win an NWSL championship. So that's definitely something we're striving for and put the work in every single day. You never know where it can take you. It can even take you further than what your expectations are. One, two, three, one, two, three. KC, baby.